Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. I'm Lucy. Hi, I'm Allison. This is Banjo Betsy Beckerman. And welcome to Baby Time, a fun, interactive program for parents and caregivers of babies ages 0 to 2, full of ideas for songs, rhymes, baby bounces, stories, activities, and more to do with your baby. Well, hello everybody. How do you do? How do you do? And how do you do? Hello everybody. And how do you do? How do you do today? Hello to the babies. lifting rhyme to do with you today called Gregory Griggs and you can lift your baby up for the lifting part or if you don't want to do that you can always just lift their arms up or their legs um, so whatever you're comfortable with and whatever makes your baby happy so this goes like this Gregory Griggs Gregory Griggs had 27 different wigs he wore them he wore them down to please the people of the town. He wore them east, he wore them west, but which one did he love the best? This one. And you give your baby a squeeze at the end. Hi everybody. I'm back today with two more signs in American Sign Language to teach to baby. The first sign is the word for friend. So we are going to start with our two pointer fingers, bend them slightly, and then one will go on top of the other, and they switch back and forth. Friend. 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 The second sign, which can be really helpful once baby is a little older, is help. So we're going to start with our hand together, thumb up, and our other hand comes underneath and kind of pushes it up. Like we're helping someone out. Help. 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 Try out friend and help and see how it goes. Bye. Hey everyone, I have a song and book to share with you uh, today. And you probably are very familiar with the song, The Wheels on the Bus, but I like the visuals of this book because it incorporates babies and there's some new lyrics that the babies can maybe do with you. Um, so it's a little bit more interactive than just the song. And you don't need the book to sing it, of course, but I just liked to um, share when we have a book that I like uh, with you. So this is The Babies on the Bus by Karen Katz. And goes like this. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close 
all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The babies on the bus sing la la la, la la la, la la la. The babies on the bus sing la la la, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The babies on the bus bounce bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Bumpity bump, the babies on the bus bounce bumpity bump all through the town. The horn on the bus goes toot toot toot, toot toot toot, toot toot toot. The horn on the bus goes toot 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 all through the town. Oh, and the babies on the bus cry, wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus cry, wah, 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 all through the town. And the driver on the bus says, shh, 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 shh. The driver on the bus says, shh, shh all through the town. The babies on the bus fall fast asleep, fast asleep, fast asleep. The babies on the bus fall fast asleep all through the town. The motor on the bus goes zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. The motor on the bus goes zoom, 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 all through the town. And the driver on the bus says, everyone up, everyone up, everyone up. The driver on the bus says, everyone up all through the town and the babies on the bus say bye bye bus bye bye bus bye bye bus the babies on the bus say bye bye bus now it's time to go the end take me for a ride in your car car take me for a ride Car, car, take me for a ride, take me for a ride, riding in the car. The horn goes beep, beep, the horn goes beep, beep, the horn goes beep, 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 riding in the car. Engine goes, engine goes, engine goes. today with an activity for us to try with some of our younger babies. Uh, newborns up to about six or eight months, although older kids may find this enjoyable too. 
but this is a little bit of tissue paper kicking, and here's how this works. So you are, of course, going to need a sheet or two of tissue paper. So this could be a really good one once we get a little closer to the holidays, maybe stock up on some tissue paper. And what we're going to do is kind of tuck this tissue paper into the bottom cushion of a couch or maybe a chair. For this demonstration, I'm going to tuck it into this upper part of the couch, pretending that this cushion is the floor just so that you can see it. But ordinarily, it would go into the couch cushion here so that it drapes like a curtain onto the floor. So I'm going to just tuck this tissue paper into the couch. And then <clears throat> we can take baby. This is going to be my baby for today. It's a little silly goose. But we can lay baby down on baby's back. Mm -hmm. Again, this will take place on the ground. This is just for the demonstration today. Nice and comfortable on baby's back. And then baby may start to do this on their own, but if not, you can kind of rustle the paper tissue with your hand or gently take baby's foot and tap it up against the tissue. And soon I bet that they will be kicking up against this tissue paper. The tissue paper does add a sound element with the crinkle, adds a little bit of a sensory uh, touch and it's good for uh, improving baby's body awareness and improving on their chin tucking skills since they do need to kind of tuck their chin to be able to see their feet and see what their feet are kicking up against. So try it with your baby, see how it goes, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye! Hi! I have a really easy finger play for you to do with baby and this is a great one if you find that you're tired um, and you just want to entertain baby easily and quickly, there's only two words that you need to remember to be able to do this. That's Johnny and whoops. And you might know this. You might have done this when you were a child too, just on your own hand. So I'm going to show you on my fingers like this. But what you would do with your baby is you would hold your baby's palm in your hand so that you can go on their fingers like this. And you're just going to start on their pinky, which I'll show you here. You're going to go Johnny, 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 whoops, Johnny, whoops, Johnny, 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 Johnny. And that's all you're going to do. But it does get a giggle out of babies. So I'll do it one more time with you here. Johnny, 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 whoops, Johnny, whoops, Johnny, 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 Johnny. And of course, you can change the name however you'd like. Um, but if you're holding your baby's fingers down like that, it works nicely with the little baby. As your babies get older, maybe they'll want to hold their own hands up for you to do it on their hands or for them to try themselves. Hi everyone, today I'm just going to share a few more ideas for some sensory play with your baby. I've been doing that the, um, in the past weeks and months and I just have a couple ideas today. Um, one is to encourage rhythm, rhythmic play and auditory, auditory, auditory play Jeez. Um, that by helping your baby bang on things and babies do this naturally, they love rhythm and tapping, but by getting out um, items that have different sounds when baby hits it, either with their hand or with something um, not dangerous that they might hit it with. So pots and pans, a box, a book, um, maybe if you have um, an empty DVD case or something like that. Nothing that can be breakable, of course, but things that make different sounds. And you can even create a rhythm, a simple rhythm on these things and see if your baby or toddler can recreate that rhythm, helping them learn how to mimic sounds and how to um, recreate what they've heard. Um, and that is just really great for your baby and um, encourages creativity, encourages recognizing sounds that they hear around them and is very fun. 
And the second idea is if your baby is in a high chair, something that um, you might not have thought about is to bring um, sticky bath toys up and they can stick those on a nearby window if you have one. This also works if your baby is on the floor and you have like a, de a full length window that they can access. Um, babies love to stick things uh, on things and um, you don't necessarily need to purchase a whole new set of toy of toys. Many times the sticky bath toys will work just fine on a window and especially if your baby is in a high chair it can be useful to have that entertainment before you're ready to feed them or while you're making dinner and um, those toys are also pretty indestructible so if they fall or baby drops them there's really not usually even a sound or, or any sort of like disturbance. So those are my two ideas this week for some interesting ways to interact with and um, enjoy your baby. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, wiggle my wacko away. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap. Thanks so much for joining us for Baby Time. Be sure to stay tuned to our AADL.TV YouTube channel for more great programming. See you soon.